In Update 9, we are introducing the concept of compound slabs. This tool requires a significant amount of development work and may take two or three release cycles to become a fully developed, feature-rich toolset. We are now introducing compound slabs for the first time, allowing users to place a multi-layer slab using existing slab placement techniques. Going forward, all slabs will be the same element type regardless of whether they have one layer or multiple layers and users will not need to upgrade or replace legacy elements that will be all done in the background automatically. We have created new dialog boxes to control the layers within a compound slab and to control various edge, various edge conditions options. We have also provided a toolset that gives user control over the nature of any penetration that might need to interact with the slab. In this video, we show one way that we can create a compound slab definition. We take any pre-existing catalog entry and do a save as to create a name and a new definition. Once created, we can then load the slab settings dialog box that gives us the ability to add, remove or modify individual layers within the definition, as well as assigning family and part definitions to the layers for resymbolization purposes. We can also specify edge conditions where different material assignments may be required at the perimeter for the for things like insulation or visual finish. And we also provide new options for penetrations, giving the user the ability to control the depth and direction of a penetration. Whilst maintaining the ability to move relocate or resize a penetration profile. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.